Ah, forget it. <laughs> I give up. Okay. Let me show you guys what to do. Okay. So first you want to go to your C program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Resident Evil 4, Bio 4 folder. So find that folder. All right, so then you want to go to input.ini and drag it with your right mouse button and hit copy here. Make a backup of it. Back up the file. I'm serious. Make a backup. You do not want to lose the original file. Don't edit your original file. Make a backup. So then we're going to want to go into it. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, keep going to where it says gameplay. So first it says menus. We want to go past menus. We don't care about menus. We care about gameplay. So gameplay. All right, then you'll see keyboard. We don't need to worry about that. We're using the controller. Game controller. Okay. We don't want game controller though. Keep going past game controller until you get to X input controller A. That's the one you want. So it's going to be, you know, pretty far down. Let me move this over a bit. It's going to be pretty far down. So scroll down near the bottom to X input controller A. All right, so key forward. One of these is the D-pad and one of these is the analog stick. Um, I believe, yeah, B4, B3, B2, and B1 is your D-pad. B20, B19, B18, B17 is your analog stick. So scroll just a little past it where it says key run and you'll see B9. B9 is the A button. Make another one of B20. Notice how you see this right here and this right here. It's the same thing. So key forward is B20, which is up on the analog stick. Key run is going to be also B20 and B9, which is the A button and up on the analog stick. So now when you hold up on the analog stick, Leon will move forward and you'll be holding the run button at the same time. So he'll do a run forward. All right. Then what, what, what I also changed was key Y. I got rid of the map button. Like I can't even open the map anymore. There is no map button left for me. Key Y I changed to B11. Um, honestly, I don't remember which one's which. I know B9 is A. And I have two buttons on key A, 11 and 12. So one of these is the Y button and one of these is the uh, the X button. I think B11 is the X button and B12 is the Y button. There is a reason for this. I use the X button to skip cutscenes in addition to confirming, opening doors, you know, the usual stuff, shooting the gun. But there is one particular part where you want to activate something and not skip a cutscene, and that's the uh, the wrecking ball room with Ashley. So, in that one particular room, I actually walk up to the switch and hit the Y button instead of the X button. It's the only time I touch the Y button, other than in your inventory to like move items around. Outside of the inventory, that's the only time I touch the Y button. I use that so I don't skip a cutscene because you can't skip the cutscene there, otherwise the enemies will spawn. And then. You know, for EV cancel, that's your uh, your cutscene skip button. I set a bunch of different buttons to it. So like B14, B11, B10, and B7. I think 14 is the select button. I think 7 is like one of the shoulder buttons. I don't know why I still have it there. And then 11 and 10 are your X and B buttons. So that's, that's basically how you do it. You just have to figure out which one is which button. I honestly can't tell you. I don't remember. There's the tutorial.